Well, hello everyone. I get many, many questions regarding my home and camp internet setup. I say, I call it free internet because we have cell plans for two cell phones and the family plan and with all the data uh, we have, two additional SIM cards provides my home and my internet for my camp. So I'm going to explain a couple of things about antennas because many people struggle with cell signals. And uh, so what I have here, this is an outbuilding, a uh, sleep camp, and the antenna is mounted on a telescopic uh, pole. That's a 40 foot telescopic. It's not up all the way, it's up fairly high. I'm gonna say in the, it's probably in the 30 foot range right now. I have two antennas up there. I have a Yagi, which is RF Solutions, and it's a 23 dBi Yagi, covers all cell bands different levels of gain for different bands and above that on the top is a uh, omnidirectional antenna which I have actually had really good success with and I'm going to explain after I show you what I've got here I'm going to explain why I've had the success I've had. So in any case uh, that's the setup outside. This is an outbuilding. Down below I have another outbuilding and the main camp down there. Uh, and I have a access point in that one with a um, Cat5 cable running all the way from here down there to run the access point. So I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to show you what I have and then I'll, again I'll explain the antennas and why it works. So I'm in a very fringe zone for cellular. If you just use your phone, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's not. Data is very sporadic and almost unusable. So uh, I've ha I have two different types of routers. One uses the Asus router and an Android phone um, as the receiver. And I've also played with this ZTE one. Uh, I do prefer the Asus uh, over the ZTE for manageability and uh, a couple of other things, which you'll see in my other videos. So what I have here is a booster. That's the cellular booster, an Amazon cellular booster. And I leave the antenna literally right over top of the router, so it's very close. Um, in any case, I have an Ethernet cable uh, running, running down uh, to the other camp and an access point. So again, I'll just go down quickly there and I'm going to show you and I'm going to explain on paper why the omnidirectional antenna with much lower gain, the Omni is a 9 dBi, uh, works as well as it does. So quickly, if you look up there beyond the trailer is where that outbuilding is. And I have a buried Cat5 cable all the way down to the other side of this building and comes in on the other side here. So what I have in here is this access point. And this access point basically covers my whole property. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, very, very great system. So I'll explain about the antennas now. Okay, uh, most of you probably aren't electronics and antenna radiation pattern people, so I've drawn a couple pictures here. So the Yagi antenna provides amazing gain. Here's a rough diagram of what the Yagi looks like. And the Yagi I'm using, the RF Solutions, is an amazing antenna. It works fantastic. So this antenna, if you're pointing it at the source, this is what's called an antenna radiation pattern. So if you're in the direction the antenna is pointing, you can see here, I'm going to get as much as 23 dBi increase in gain. Now, if you don't know what dB are, dB is what's considered frequently a half power point when you're talking power. So every 3 dB basically doubles your signal power. So if that was 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, etc., this doubles the power that you'd get without it. This doubles the power again, doubles the power again, doubles the power again, doubles the power again. Every 3 dB doubles your power. It's not just increasing it by a small factor. So in any case, when you're pointing the Yagi at, an, at say, a cell tower, you're getting this massive increase. And this, this loop is just a rough idea because if you turn, if this is the antenna and it's pointing like this, directly at that end, I'm going to get the highest gain. If I turn the antenna off a little bit, I may only get 17 dB. And if I turn off a little more, I get nothing. So it's very directional, the Yagi antenna. Uh, so what we get with the Yagi is fantastic reception in one direction, essentially only. From the back of the Yagi, 
we can frequently have a negative loss. Like in other words, we won't even be getting a positive gain from behind. It's blocking and we essentially lose signal if it's coming from this side, as opposed to just a single point source with no gain. So the omnidirectional antenna, which again, looks like this, it's just a vertical pole. Basically, if you show the radiation pattern, it's equal in all directions, essentially. So if it's a 9 dB antenna, I'm getting 9 dB in this direction and I'm getting 9 dB in the other direction. So I'm going to draw one more picture and you'll see why uh, both are great depending on your circumstances, but they have advantages. So I don't claim to be an artist here, but it'll give you the idea. So I'm located here. The cell towers are over here. This is a very large hill. Uh, hundreds of feet high and it's rock, rock outcrops. It's the ridge of a valley. So I don't have direct line of sight to the cell tower. And the frequencies that cell towers use, especially the higher frequencies in LTE, are all direct line of sight or it's reflections. So the only way I get the signal over here at my antenna is the cell signal bouncing off rocks and other uh, things in the hills and getting me from the other side. It does not come straight through. It can sometimes ricochet around through low cloud levels, cloud layers and things when there's uh, a lot of humidity and rain, etc., snow, but I'm usually getting bounce from somewhere else. So when I, what I've found with the Yagi, it works fantastic, but it changes. So I can have the Yagi pointed because there is a cell tower in the far distance over in this direction here. I can have the Yagi pointed here and I can have terrific reception, uh, absolutely phenomenal for hours, days, or even weeks. And then it's gone. It's completely gone. And I have to swing the antenna this way and change altogether. I have to go up and rotate the pole and move my uh, antenna. Then I'll get a great signal. Uh, what I've found now, because I don't have any direct path to a cell tower from my location, the omnidirectional antenna, which has gain in all directions, prevents me from having to play with it. Yes, it's not quite as good, it's not as good a gain, but because I'm getting bounce, it's never coming from the same direction. It's coming from here, then it's coming from here, then it's coming from here, then it's coming from here, here, and here. In this case, an omnidirectional antenna will do wonders for your signal because it's picking it up from all directions all the time. If you don't have direct line of sight to your cell tower and you have intermittent signal, try your booster with an omnidirectional antenna. It's been a game changer for me here because it's literally functions now all the time. Whereas I was constantly fighting and going up and trying to find where the best signal was rotating the antenna. Now, I want to give kudos because that RF Solutions antenna, I'll put some links in the uh, description down below, is phenomenal. And so has been the uh, Signal Plus Omni I have. I'll put uh, links to both of them. In any case, I hope that helps if you're struggling with cell signal at a distance. Because if you're like me and you've played with Yaggies, uh, you may want to try, because they're not overly expensive, an Omni and see if it helps solve some of your consistency problems. Anyway, if you found this useful, please uh, like and subscribe.